everyone. Uh, we've been on holiday, so no episodes for a while. I meant to record one while we are, were on the road, but I never got around to it. Well, we've been home for about a week now, and as soon as I parked the van, I made a list of everything, um, <laughs> uh, more upgrades, finished the ones that I didn't get to finish before we go, went on holiday. And so I'm going, just gonna take you through that, but I am also going to say that the modifications that I have done so far have been brilliant. The uh, batteries, uh, the fuse panel, everything was flawless. Uh, it was wonderful not having to worry about battery power, just using what we needed to charge devices, uh, use the blender, uh, hot water was always on. So that was pretty much amazing. The lowest the batteries were, I think was 70%. So that's seven zero, 70%. Um, when we were camped out at a, at a site under some uh, tree shade, uh, also facing the wrong way, facing north. So the panels were making just barely 30 watts during the day. But apart from that, and again, that was nothing to worry about. 70% was more than enough. So that was amazing. Everything was beautiful, worked perfect, really happy. And the, the work, all the work paid off. And I definitely recommend upgrading to uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries if you can because it's, it is really um, a, a whole different level and uh, a lot of peace of mind. Um, moving on to upgrades. Um, I, I've had a lot on my mind. I've been talking it out with Anna, seeing what we're gonna do. But let's start with these small upgrades and then we'll talk about the big ones um, at the end of the video and maybe you can let me know what you think, um, if they're doable, if it's just a stupid idea. Um, we'll see uh, what you think, but for now, I'm just going through this list that I made uh, while we were on holiday, and that's uh, solar panel mounts. So the, the mounts that I did, these mounts that just raise the panels ever so slightly, um, when, I, when I built them, um, the idea was to make clearance for a conduit for the cables. In the end, I ended up not doing that. So the panels are just, just sitting too high uh, needlessly. So I'm going to make uh, shorter um, mounts to bring them closer to the roof. Less drag, less noise maybe. Uh, not that it was noisy, but just they don't need to sit that high. So that's an easy fix. Just make some new ones and put them on. Um, also, what I didn't get to do was replace the um, cable um, that goes to the hot water tank. Uh, it's still a very thin cable, so I'm going to have to uh, remove this headlight, this panel, maybe uh, the cowlings below, because in case you don't know, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure if I've ever discussed this before, but the tank is right there. Um, the hot water tank, the control panel for it is right here. Not sure you can see it. So I'm going to replace the cables to that. And um, just for added peace of mind, again, it's 200 watts. It's about 15, 16 amps. And it's currently got a 2.5 millimeter cable to it because I couldn't get a thicker cable through the grommet here at the uh, behind the uh, rear headlight, uh, rear light. So I'm going to have to find a way to do that. Maybe remove some panels uh, underneath, some, some plastic cowlings. So uh, that's uh, job two. So first job, panels, um, solar panel mounts. Job two is the cable for the hot water tank. Job three would be a new one of these. Uh, because this one we built it when we uh, before our trip to Croatia in 2016 um, and it was um, built in a bit of a rush and it's worked but um, it is heavy and uh, we put a lot of stuff in it so um, through this it's just sagged here um, and it's starting to rub when you pull it out because these runners 
um, I don't think can handle all of the weight. So I would like to make one of these maybe uh, out of uh, aluminum rails, um, just stronger runners for the drawers. Not sure, but something uh, better than this, a new one. Uh, also some um, work on the head unit. I have removed it, removed the uh, glove compartment and the head unit. Uh, this head unit is okay, but it's quite limited. It's quite old. It's the original one and I do like it. But for navigation nowadays and for music, we always end up, end up using Spotify and Google Maps. Would be good to get a, a new head unit or maybe just a Bluetooth module for this one, which I could then run uh, through this little space here into the glove compartment. No, no um, holes or anything required. So that would be a good modification. And what else do we have on the list? Let's see. That solar panel mounts, new drawer, hot water tank cable, uh, I've already said the modifications were flawless. That's good. And now, um, oh, I've also got these three boxes that I would like to condense uh, into one. These are just spares and tools and uh, things that we keep in the van because we find ourselves in the middle of nowhere. And if something breaks or if so we need something, I usually like to keep a good range of fuses and spares and stuff that I can use to repair things if I need to. Um, but it, they do take some, take a, a fair bit of space. So I would like to see if, how um, I can boil this down to one box or two boxes. Even, even if I can get rid of one, that's already um, a massive uh, space saving in a van of this size. Um, and lastly, and this is, <laughs> where um where uh, i'm not sure what you'll think of it but and again it goes a bit against uh, my policy of keeping the van completely original um although i don't think any of the modifications i'm thinking of doing uh are actually uh, destructive but they are big modifications um and that's through the years we find ourselves just um, trying to stay, we always um, try and uh, wild camp, so we um, get away from anything and anyone, uh, and that usually means off-roading, just means going off the road, um, dirt tracks, trails, uh, muds, uh, mud, muddy trails, and um, sand, steep hills, and this is a three-ton van with front-wheel drive, so any time with road tires so anytime there is the uh, slightest slope uh, with less than ideal traction we find ourselves struggling to get out um, so i try and be conservative conservative um, to as to where we park the van but i also find myself thinking we could go a lot further and be um, a lot further away from uh, from everyone um, if only the van, the van was better prepared for a um, 4x4. Sadly, it is not a 4x4 van. It's a, it is not a 4-motion van. Um, and that is, although we do love the van, it, it is our sole regret is that it's not a 4x4. Um, but I have been thinking that maybe we could change that. Maybe we could bring a van over from Germany, just a work van same generation as this one with the four motion system the four wheel drive and just swap it out swap out the mechanical bits and the uh, electronics and all the necessary components to turn this van into a four by four van um, people have called me crazy they've said it's a massive undertaking it's a lot of money um, it is all of those things but i think it is doable and uh, here in Portugal, to get a 4x4 van, uh, they are pretty rare. Um, selling this one and getting a new one that's 4x4 is tricky, it's hard, uh, it's not easy to do. And so if uh, 
we could, because we do love this van, we, we've grown quite attached to it and it's perfect for, for uh, what we do apart from the um, missing 4x4. So even if we spend a fair amount of money converting this into a 4x4, um, it is still probably the cheapest option. Um, and um, well, in the end, we have <laughs> our beloved Delia with 4x4. Uh, it is a massive project. Um, uh, we are still analyzing um, every aspect of it, see if we can actually pull it off. Um, again, this would involve a uh, extra set of wheels uh, for bigger tires. That in, in, in itself invo involves lifting the suspension, so that's a full suspension kit. Um, and then all the 4x4 four four bits from a 4Motion van underneath. And one of the modifications that undoubtedly uh, I will make is the, um, the winch. Um, even if it doesn't go 4x4, four four, I am going to put a winch in this van because we have uh, often found ourselves alone in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> um, skidding and trying to get out of a spot um, in places where a tow truck will not go. So. If there is a way that I can improve our chances of um, getting ourselves out of trouble, even if the van doesn't have 4x4, that is what I'm going to do. So I, I have found uh, two companies that sell um, winch cradles. That's the, um, the place where the winch mounts to, and it goes under the front bumper, so it's completely hidden. Uh, it just mounts to the chassis um, mounting points for the um, uh, front reinforcement, so the original uh, reinforcement uh, beneath uh, the front bumper comes out, the winch cradle goes in, bolts in the original spot, so no welding, no drilling, no anything, and the only thing we will have to do is I'll have to find a, another bumper uh, from another vehicle to open a cutout for the uh, winch line. Um, that modification is going to be done, whether or not the rest of the van goes 4x4, four four, um, that is going to be done because I think that is a really uh, worthwhile upgrade, especially doing what we do. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I think I've touched on every point uh, on this little update video. I uh, hope it's not running too long, I've said a lot. Um, let me know what you think about the 4x4 upgrade, um, if you know anyone that's done it, if you think it's completely impossible, if you think it's a daft idea, um, but at the minute uh, it's looking like a very, very strong option. Again, even though it is a massive undertaking, but it should make for, uh, well, YouTube content, I guess. So yeah. Uh, in the meantime, I'm, I will continue recording videos on the um, sliding drawer, the controller, um, the cable for the hot water tank, the mounts, the head unit, which I'm thinking if I, we're going with a floating screen head unit, a completely new one, aftermarket, or just um, getting a Bluetooth adapter for that one. We'll see. Haven't figured it out yet, but well, that's it, I guess. So I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching and I don't know, <laughs> comment, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.